Hello, Gemini. We're getting ready with your new versus every three shuffles for Gemini. One, second shuffle. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by. There will be an extended reading in the description box below. Okay, overall energy. Gemini, you're in this Libra energy of trying to make a head over heart decision before you move forward with somebody that you think might be a lightweight. You want to know if the relationship is balanced enough to invest. Well, that's the overall energy. Okay, so you versus them. How you have felt in the recent past is things are going pretty well. You feel as though at a practical level, the two of you are communicating well. You understand each other. You're both invested in the relationship. You may have worked with this person on some sort of creative project, which really is very powerful, honestly. I get that energy. Oh, Gemini, the Emperor card. You feel currently like this is definitely the person that you want to be with. You both are very, very uh, powerful within your own right. You really feel that you've met a good match for yourself. You feel that this person takes actions. You feel as though they're very much a person who knows exactly what they want. They're very shrewd. You definitely feel that they are worth your investment of time. You find them pretty fascinating. The five of coins though, the way you see the situation right now is you don't know where you really stand with this person. This person, you feel as though they're leaving you out in the cold. They're not really contacting you enough. You definitely wonder if you're wasting your time, how you feel in terms of how you view them. The three of wands, your ship is in. You feel they're the person for you again. Very solid desire for this person. In your heart space, you are invested in them. How you view the situation moving forward. Ooh, Virgo energy. Very, you feel as though it's moving very slowly. But you are, you do feel it's, you know, you do have faith in the Virgo energy that you see. What's hidden in your energy? Ooh, the King of Wands. You feel like this person's very sexy, very fiery, very passionate. The fire. This person is on fire to you. Lots of fire energy here. We have what spirit recommends. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is a great relationship in terms of how you can move forward in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. The outcome at this time is that you are doing your own thing. You're very busy. Your person's doing their own thing. They're very busy. So right now, you're not overly concerned about where this relationship is. You know, you're looking out for yourself. You're keeping yourself in a bubble. You know, you're keeping your expectations in alignment. The only difficult card that I see for you, really, is the Five of Coins. So let's look and see what the clarification is for that. What's the clarification for the Five of Coins? Nine of Cups. Okay, so you're missing your person. When you're together, the two of you have lots of fun, lots of laughter. It's a very um, deep friendship. It's um, You really both like to have fun, and I feel as though both of you work a lot. So it's almost like your person's like a mini vacation for you. Let's look and see how your person is feeling about you, Gemini. Let's see. How is Gemini's person feeling about them? Gemini's person. Let's see what we have. You know what? I'm going to use those for the clarifiers. So I'm going to pick this up. Well, let's clarify the five of coins with this deck and see what else we have. Okay. The Justice card. So you definitely want to be treated fairly. Now, I like to use the many to see if we have any similar cards that pop up. And it's very visually pleasing to see it with the same type of deck. Okay, so Gemini, Gemini, what do we have here for our beautiful Geminis? I'm a Gemini. Let's see what we have. Gemini, Gemini, what do we have for your person and how they're feeling about you in the recent past? Okay, let's Go ahead and see what the, at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, they have romance in mind. 
they want to come forward they may bring you flowers this is the energy of someone who's not settled into relationship but they have a love note they feel love for you they have a very good looking horse in the back uh, <laughs> very symbolic we have this beautiful um, bouquet of red roses so there's love here your person loves you in the recent past it looks as though they may have been involved with somebody else in the past. The Ace of Swords says that they have great clarity about how they feel about you. I get the Strength card. Look at this energy. Beautiful energy. The Strength card is Leo the Lion. You might be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But they have clarity. They really see you as a person that they would like to be with. The Infinity symbol is on her arm. Very very positive information, uh, you know, in terms of how they see you, Gemini. They see you as a very powerful person. <gasps> Look at this. They view you as their soulmate. Gemini, that's your card. They would love to have a completed cycle with you. They would really, they think the world of you. They really think that you are absolutely an exceptional person. They feel as though they like to really go the distance with you. They would like to level up with you. That's how they feel in their heart space. They think you are fabulous. The judgment card says that the way they view the situation currently is that something has to be released before the relationship can move forward. With the two of coins, this person may be going through a divorce. They may be going through a thought process or a decision-making process, but they have clarity that they want you. I like the fact that I see the judgment card here. That is, you know, Scorpio energy. Something has to be released before something new can really be manifested with you. What's in their heart space is hidden. The four of coins, they haven't told you. They are keeping this a secret, Gemini. <laughs> Your person is keeping this a secret. Okay, well, we have a card that fell on the floor. So let's see what that is. The moon card reversed. Spirit is saying that this person, the advice for your person at this time is, you know, is to um, admit their feelings to you. Spirit is suggesting that they not keep you in the dark about this relationship and how they feel. So let's see what the outcome card is for their energy towards you at this time. Okay. Oh, wow. Two cards. Aw. Oh. Hopes and dreams for love come true. They see you as a very spiritual person. They see you as someone who is really quite uh, a bit aloof. That you don't, you know, it's not really easy to get your attention. They feel very much that you're very spiritual. They feel that you could be psychic. They feel that you see and know things. But these two cards together are beautiful. This is Pisces and Aquarius energy. Uh, with the world card, they think you're really strong. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and clarify with this deck and see what we have here for the three of coins. So your person sees you in the past. You might have been their boss at a job. Yeah, look at this. The emperor, the emperor. Oh, goodness. You're still the boss, but they're also the boss alongside you. You are the boss together. You're, you're double boss energy. Oh, that's fascinating. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen that in a reading. The Nine of Cups says that they miss you. They're sad. They want to have a party with you. They, they feel as though work is getting in the way. The Nine of Cups is a really happy energy. It's very joyful. It's a party card. And this person feels that they're all, all alone, you know, that both of you work a lot. Again, I'm getting that vibe of the two of you working a lot. Your person... Um, you know, the way you see your person here, Gemini, is that, you know, you you feel very much that their energy is that they're leaving you alone. The hanged man, you want them to come out. You want this stag. You want them to be more active in the relationship. The justice card says you want more balance. You need more balance. Oh, the high priestess, you feel as though this person, the two of you are communicating telepathically. When I get this energy with two people, 
and you versus them, it's very clear that you communicate in very subtle ways. You're invested in this person, Gemini. What? Tell us about that investment. Oh, Eight of Cups. You don't know whether you should be investing. You feel as though if this doesn't work out, you would move along. The Ten of Wands, they're moving too slowly for you. You definitely feel like, you feel, you just feel like they're not paying enough attention. They're not really engaging with you. You don't know where you stand. You feel like there's a lot of potential, but it's gone unspoken or un, unaddressed so far. Magician card. The hidden energy that you have is you're manifesting this very, very powerfully sexy person. They have, they must have fire in their chart. It doesn't matter though at the end of the day, the energy is the energy. We all have fire in our chart. The Four of Pentacles. Spirit is suggesting that you not go overboard. You know, hold back. You know, keep to yourself. Let this person work out for themselves what they want. Four of Coins is holding back. Um, you know, once you become public as a couple, Spirit is saying go forward. Until then, hold back. And it looks like right now your relationship is not public. And Spirit is saying that that's going to be the sign that it's safe to move ahead with your person. That's when you're going to really know that the relationship is coming into its own. That it's gaining in momentum and power. The Ace of Cups, beautiful. So your outcome shows me that your person comes along, I think, very much with the energy of, oops, it was the Knight of Cups before, before I shuffled. So it does show, I really like the energy here. The Ace of Cups is your outcome for um, how you are feeling, Gemini. But it's also your outcome in this relationship. You do really love them. you defending that love. You know, you're very much in alignment with what you want here. Okay, so we're going to get the Crow's Tarot to look at your person. Let's see, the Two of Coins. Why are the Two of Coins here? Why is the Two of Coins here with our Gemini friends in terms of their desire for relationship? We're going to look at... Oh, I didn't get the Crow's Tarot. Okay, Page of Cups. So your person is really considering... The relationship and it's based on page of cups energy so it does look like it's possible that this is a child because when i get the two of coins you may be juggled in a relationship because this person has to get a judgment maybe of divorce quite literally i feel as though your person may feel that they're a lightweight in love but look at this we also have the strength card here and there so the person your person sees you as in one way Black, excuse me, the one they want to be with. The moon card says that they have great clarity, that they do want to leave something behind, and they're not telling you, okay? They have great clarity, Gemini, that they want to leave something behind. The moon card is upright. They And it also is a secret of card, right? This is ca a card of, like, coming to visit you. This is a card of, you know, them being in their fields, uh, but not really sharing a lot of that information with you, keeping keeping their feelings quiet. They do have great clarity about how they feel, though. Tell us more about the moon card, because it's reversed here. Spirit's telling them that they need to share their feelings with you. Tell us one more thing about that moon card. Yeah, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So the other thing is, is that you may be juggled with the Queen of Pentacles energy. You might be the High Priestess. When we get to, I, I'm always, always, always feeling concerned that you're being juggled. You know, you could be. I feel as though for most of you, though, that this would not be a dishonest, deceptive energy. I feel as though you would understand that this person at least has an attachment to someone from the past. They could be already divorced from this person and still attached. Your person feels as though they want, they feel very competitive for your attention. Your person feels as though you may have others, that they may be competing with other people. Tell us about the world card. Why does your person, Gemini, see, think the world of you? They see you as a queen of wands. Queen of wands energy. So they do see you as someone who has it all. 
you bring it to the table. The Queen of Wands is oftentimes, though, we get two queens in a reading. It does usually mean that there is a quote-unquote other woman. Um, with that judgment card, I really always see that as judgment of divorce. You know, your person does see themselves leaving. So let's see, will they leave this other situation, relationship? The hanged man says that they're going to take their time for sure. That they're thinking about it, they're looking at things from different perspectives. What is the Four of Pentacles energy for you? Why are they holding back? Why are they being quiet here? You know, look at this again. Look at Four of Pentacles here is in your energy, Gemini, from spirit. That's the advice. Until they make you public, hold back. What we see here is what's hidden in the energy between you and your person is that they've been holding back from you, obviously with a hanged man. But look at what they feel. Look at this energy again. We have the King of Wands here and the King of Wands here. So your person is holding back on the energy of being the King of Wands until things are released and settled and decisions are made and you're manifesting the King of Wands. How interesting. Tell us about the Moon card reversed here. What does this mean? Tell us about the Moon card reversed. Yep, look at this. You remind them of somebody from the past. Somebody that, you know, the Moon energy is a very soft feminine energy. This is very much the energy as you somehow remind them of somebody from the past. Somebody, you've been very loving to them. Gemini, they really, they want a reunion with you. They want to come to you. Yeah, Spirit is recommending it too. Spirit is very much in favor of the relationship, especially when we have the outcome of the star card. We have equal give and take between two partners here that you're very, very good with one another. You're very kind to each other. You're very loving. You're very spiritually loving. Again, the two of you have telepathic communication. Okay, so let's see here. The Five of Cups, you know, your person misses you. You have the Five of Coins. You feel lonely without them. Sometimes you feel really closed out without them. They don't feel closed out without you. They just feel sad without you. They feel as though... You know, right now, they don't get to have what they want with you. So, Gemini, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to dive in to really look at what has to be released and why there's so much strength in this relationship. I'm going to pull your cards up and we're going to, I'm going to go, you, I'm going to leave this layout here and we're going to answer all the questions about what your person is doing, what their path is, and I'm going to pick up your cards, and that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to answer the questions that I see here in this, in the them, okay? So let's go over to the extended if you'd like. If not, hope to see you in another reading, and hope you have a really great week. Take care. Bye-bye.